The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. It's pronounced ash hole. You dumb asshole. Excuse me? It's ash hole. You, sir, are an asshole. <laughs> it's ash hole, you idiot. I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. For the last time, it's ash holes. Oh, you were right. I'm just your kind of asshole. It's time, once again, for my kind of ash holes on Unfiltered Cigar Radio. And welcome back to the Ash Holes, broadcasting live from the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio. We're back once again with myself, Aaron Noonan, Jessica Fernari, Hello. Mike Damari, and Ed Sullivan. And we're joined by a special guest, Claudio Scroy. Yes, Scroy? yes, Scroy. you know this. Scroy. He's the master blender of Mombacho. Yes. So, welcome. Thank yeah, you so thanks much. Thanks for coming by. I mean, this is a last minute change, but I'm, I'm glad so far the cigar you provided us is uh, smoking really well. Thank you so it's much for having me. Yeah. I'm uh, very happy. Yeah, it's very it's happy. excellent. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the cigar? Yes, uh, Momacho Cigars was founded uh, first in 2006, mm. and uh, we are the only factory in, uh, in Granada, Nicaragua. Okay. And uh, what you're smoking, uh, it's uh, Liga Maestro, one of the lines that we make uh, at Casa Favilli, our factory. And uh, it's 100% tobaccos from Nicaragua, so we call okay. it puro, mm -hmm. because puro is when it's made with the tobaccos from one country. Yep, pure. And all, mm -hmm. Yes, and all our lines, the Tierra Volcana, the Liga Maestro, and the brand new uh, Casa Favilli, uh, all of them uh, are puros, using different wrappers, uh, different blends, uh, but all of them are from Nicaragua. Wow. Mm. I really uh, strongly believe uh, in the uh, versatility of the tobacco that we have in Nicaragua so far, and different seeds, uh, different regions, uh, different kind of soil, so the, the combination for me are infinite. We can do yeah. a lot mm. of things just with tobaccos from Nicaragua. Yeah. You're not around a lot of the other factories, are you? Because I know the factories that you know, I'm familiar with or around, you know, Esteli in Jalapa. You're in Grenada. Uh, we are in Granada. Granada. Because oh, don't try no. my pronunciation. <laughs> no, 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 it's not the pronunciation. Granada. <laughs> all languages. Granada, it's an island uh, in the uh, Caribbean. Right. Okay. So Granada. And Granada, <laughs> Granada. it's uh, the, the oldest town in the continent. Okay. Because of the, the first Spanish settlement in the continent, and not in the islands where the Americas were discovered, mm. okay. uh, in Dominican Republic mm -hmm. and those islands, the first settlement was Granada, built in 1524. Wow. So that's why we are in Granada, and we are in a colonial building that is a monument, classified the it's monument It's the coolest building. It's yeah, the coolest yeah. factory I've seen. <laughs> like when you told me to look it up, I mean, it's just this bright, Yellow building, and yeah, it looks yeah. like an old colonial house. Like, yeah, it uh, almost seems like, oh, that's it. Does, it doesn't look exactly okay, yeah. what it is. If you yeah. said cigar factory, yeah, I mean, that's it. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it doesn't look, it is very old. It, it is, it was yeah. built in 1925, <laughs> and we converted nice. in our factory. Mm -hmm. And for us, uh, being uh, in, the, uh, in the oldest town uh, in the continent, uh, in a monument that is colonial, it's bringing back uh, that romantic feeling. Uh, and environment uh, around cigars. Remember 200 years ago, the cigars that we are rolled in places like that, you know, sure. big columns, uh, all colonial. So it's right. uh, bringing back uh, that history of, uh, of the handmade uh, and the, the, the boutique today that we say a lot, boutique, boutique. So it's, uh, it's a lot of responsibility as well. For sure. I mean, I'm in those towns, I mean, the whole industry is based around cigars. You know, so like the the fields around the like the plantation and everything, and that that factory being like the icon of the factory is is like the hub of where everything gets done. You know, from the fields and like mm. that whole that factory impacts ec economically Correct. how oh, many yeah, hundreds yeah. and yeah, yeah, like oh, the yeah. whole community you yeah, know benefits it from it. Yeah, it's yeah, nice. yeah. very nice. Yeah. Uh, enjoying Terrific. the cigar so far. Yeah, heck yeah. Had some mm. nice sweetness off the bat, right off the bat, a little, a little bit of spice. And now coffee. I'm getting into some, yeah, more earthy coffee kind of flavors now. For sure. Getting like if it. you lit this up, you say Nicaragua. Man, you guys are good. You, can you, say you guys are good. And I can tell you, uh, there is uh, uh, some tobacco from a region that is called the Jalapa. Mm. And the tobaccos from there are pretty sweet. Mm. I mean, doesn't mean that there is sugar, okay? Yes, that yes, it's yes, sweet, yeah. but there is a, the stimulation that they give you the, the sweetness, mm -hmm. and those are from uh, uh, Jalapa. Okay. When you take uh, the tobaccos in this blend that they are coming from Condega, 
that's where the spice, spiciness is coming. Nice. Okay? okay. Sure. And the problem is to balance out mm. s- sweet, uh, spicy, the strength uh, and the aromas uh, and the taste. Uh, it, it, I think it's a very, very well balanced. It about. works. It yeah, really yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's amazing when we've done the tastings in the past where they give you the individual tobaccos. And individually, they taste pretty good. I mean, mm-hmm. they're not bad, you know. But then when you put them together and you see how one balances out the yeah, high point yeah, of one yeah. balances out and it makes it a completely different thing it doesn't taste like either of them individually yeah. and what you've done here like it, it really is nice the way that this is blended because it's smooth yeah. you know it seems like one cohesive like you nice know when I, when i blend the cigar i base the my blending philosophy in three words which is uh, aroma balance uh, and consistency okay Balanced. if you put together those three things uh, you get into complexity hmm, for sure. you get you get into balance uh, and that elegance that you have uh, uh, in a cigar the for example you don't need to drink something with the cigar you mm-hmm. can start no. and finish the yeah. cigar and you are uh, you know full of flavor it's mm-hmm. balanced it's uh, it, I mean, I it's make them, ashy. so I love them, right? right. <laughs> it's, no, you're right. It's not ashy. It doesn't yes. have that it's harshness. Not rough. No, yeah. it's. I mean, it, it's. It's like covering my palate, so it's thick yeah. smoke. Yeah, you, you know, it's got some weight to it. Kind it's of like chewy, a creamy, smoke leathery, very tongue, leathery. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, but but it's not. It's not dirty. I appreciate like you know, it. I don't have to wash it off my palate. A this cigar is has to be... Sorry, go ahead. No, no. This is actually... It's it's rolling off really nice. It's yeah. touching every part of my palate. I'm getting mm. a little yes. spicy in the front, a little sweet in the back, a lot of smoothness. Beautiful. I strongly believe on the 360 degree stim- stimulation. Mm. Why? Because we have only four tastes, right? We have the salty, we have the, the, uh, the sweet, the bitter, and the sour. Mm. If the cigar is not just a little bit bitter, we are missing 25% of the taste, mm. right? So you got to heat your palate everywhere to give you that 360 degrees of mm. stimulation. Sure. But in a way that, as you said, it's balanced, you know, it's not rough in your throat. Yeah, yeah. Where it's, it's not conflicting elegant. with the other flavors. Right. Yeah. Cigars are enjoyment. Mm. I do not have to work for the cigar. I think the cigar should work for us. <laughs> but more than that, uh, the only thing I say, you should listen to the cigar. Because mm. uh, wh- why you smoke the cigar is telling you, oh, you're going too fast. So it gets hot, yeah. it gets bitter, so you cool down a little bit. And then when it's too spicy, maybe you're like, oh, maybe, I don't know. So it's telling you something. Mm. And it's our job to listen to that. Hmm. So what like percentage of, you know, you know, the flavor of tobacco comes from the land that's grown in. Because I see the other one that you have here is called, like, from what I see, it's Tierra. Tierra Volcan. So yes. that's that's volcanic soil. Yeah. And I know in Nicaragua they have a lot of volcanic soil. Yes. So what mm-hmm. specifically about that soil, what does it do for the tobacco? In Nicaragua we are blessed because we have a different kind of soil. We have yeah. the volcanic soil that is very, very black. And this is uh, Esteli... Uh, you can find in Condega. For example, when you go up north uh, or most of the border with Honduras, uh, there is the valley of Alapa. Yep. In Alapa, the soil is very red. So hmm. it, there is a it's different clay. composition. Yeah, a lot of clay, a lot of sand, uh, and there is a lot of oxidum of iron as okay. well. So that sweetness is coming uh, from the red soil hmm. and the mineral taste as well. Sure. When you go for something very spicy, you got to bring uh, the tobaccos from Esteli. The volcanic soil is very powerful. Mm. Mm. It's a melting pot of uh, a mineral salt compounds sure. that eats the food for the plant. Some of my favorite cigars have the Esteli Lajero in it. Oh, and that's, man. That's you, you, love, uh, oh, yeah. you love cigars for men, right? Yeah, you know, <laughs> man back Yes, high concentrations yeah, of yeah. testosterone. You um, know, it, it, it always depends. Not your first depends. conversation on the it, topic, uh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it always depends because you can yeah. get tobacco. So, for example, we use a, a Ligero from Condega that sure. is n- from Alapa, sorry, that is not very strong. Really? Okay, hmm. it's Alapa, so it's not spicy. Mm-hmm. And it just balances out the strengthness of the spiciness and the flavor from uh, the other tobaccos because I built the blend uh, around the uh, aromas and balance. So, I didn't want to have a Ligero that is going to fight mm-hmm. against the other. I don't want So, the Ligero yeah. got to just support with some strength the strength of the aromas so wow. when you're looking for a specific tobacco like that what's different from the other lajeros mm-hmm. is are you is it from a different field or is it different leaf size or it depends if it's uh, first of all the region mm-hmm. then the seed because we have a different seeds we use a corojo okay. we use a criollo we use habano we use a lot of different seeds mm-hmm. so every seed has a some specific taste okay, okay. that can change uh, between the different regions so that's why I said the versatility of tobaccos. Hmm. 
Yeah. So like if like they I've heard like Ometepe yeah. um is on the side of a volcano. Yes. I mean that's gotta be crazy different as far as it is very specific. You can look at it like kinda like Ometepe. wine almost because the different terroir of wine, you know, you got different regions that it's gonna like taste a certain way. You know, like, the, could you compare it? You completely nailed that. And more than that, we work in the same way of the winemakers. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. we talk about plantation. We say plantation, they say vineyard. Yeah, okay? for sure. And then uh, the soil. Yeah. And then uh, the harvest. And the sunlight and, and the water yes. and everything. Yes. Yeah. And everything. then uh, the fermentation. Remember that. The wine, you fermented the mm -hmm. wine, we fermented the tobacco. Yeah. And then the aging. So it's a really working like a winemaker. Yeah. yeah. For somebody to try to compare this to, like... Uh, some of you get in a gas station like you know what i mean like there's, no, those, there's yeah. no comparison you know what i mean like for like i'm just saying people don't that don't understand what a premium cigar is like the amount know, of time and yeah. effort the amount of people that are involved yeah. i mean the the science behind it and like all the energy that goes into making something so like you know perfect you yeah. know yeah. it's completely different look at the most difficult thing it's, it's uh uh the knowledge you have uh uh on the blending, uh, quality control, and that stuff. For mm -hmm. example, the wine, uh, there is a school. You mm -hmm. go for uh, enology, yeah. sure. okay? For uh, beers, there is a, a, a brewmaster school. Mm -hmm. So you can go to school. For cigars, there is no school. <laughs> yeah, it's so just, it's, you uh, grow up in it, right? There's <laughs> a lot you grow of up there. experts, though. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah, you got to spend experts. a lot of time uh, in tobacco, in the feeds, mm. in the fermentation. And more than that, uh, you got to be curious. If you are curious, uh, you understand more what we are smoking. If you are not curious, uh, you go up to a point that more than that, you cannot go. Hmm. Okay? With curiosity, you understand more and you try to, to learn more. In tobacco, we learn every day because every day is different. A day, it's hot, it's dry, it's raining. So every day change and every day can make this a little bit different. And there's different aspects of that. Like you're yeah. from the you know, production side and then yeah. on the retail side. Like, yeah. And I was on one the consumer side for a long time. It's just... But it's it's all like a like an ecosystem in the sense that's mm. you know everybody has to. Kinda... It goes all together because sure. when I when I blend the cigar, I'm not thinking about my personal taste. Right. Okay? <laughs> I first of all, okay, I'm romantic, but I listen to tobaccos. We like that. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to what uh, you were you were saying that we try the different primings. Mm -hmm. So we try those. It depends if we start from the wrapper or we got, for example, Casa Favilli, our third line. I was looking to make a Maduro for two years. And I couldn't find a Maduro natural mm -hmm. Maduro wrapper that mm -hmm. will satisfy me. Yeah. And a day, you know, visiting our farmers in Alapa, uh, the farmer said, I got a new wrapper. You want to try it? I was like, what's this? It's a broleaf made in Alapa. I was like, what? Ooh. Broleaf <laughs> that I know from the uh, United States. And he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's different. You know, Alapa, the mm. soil is soft. Sure. I'm like, okay, I'm going to try it. After I tried it, I said that no matter what, I'm going to make a blender with this brown. Mm. Really? So the and Casa Favilli line, something. it's uh, the first cigar that is using a broleaf seed from the United States, but planted in Nicaragua. So oh. is this Connecticut or Pennsylvania broadleaf? Uh, Pennsylvania. Nice. Yes. And so you got that earthiness uh, of the broleaf. Mm. There is a little bit hidden uh, behind the sweetness that is coming from Alapa. So it's very different. You, if you, you are very I mean, familiar with gonna, Broly, for, I don't mm. believe you. I'm going to have to possibly okay. try, <laughs> it. Have to try it. You know? I, I, well I don't believe. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. So we'll, we'll, it's we'll like, you know the difference between, you know, Ecuadorian Connecticut and, and American, you know, USA Connecticut. Sure. So let's see what the difference is with huh. yeah, you know, Nicaragua and Broadway. That's what I'll have to, have to try. I mean, you, mm. know, you should. Out of respect for the line, I'll, I mean, I will do that. So you know, I'll, I'll take care of doing yeah. that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So far, this one's great, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm very impressed. Yeah. Burn line is nice and thin. Oh, the mascara line, you know, it's it looks yeah, like it's burning nice, well, well constructed aged. well, right? And um, I just, I, I mean, I haven't been really even smoking all that quickly, and it's still lit like fully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's performing um, very well. Which is nice. Yeah, for a, a thinner ring gauge too, yeah. it's tough. So let's uh, jump into the top five. Let's do it. Aloha. Today's top five is brought to you by Five Five Cigars. Choose from the mild white label, the medium strength red label, or the full bodied and full flavor blue label. Series Five Five has it all. Five Five equals the perfect 10, and that's what you get every time. The only thing better than a Five Five cigar is two of them, so you can share with a friend. And now, here's today's top five list.
So top five so today, because we have a little bit of rain, we're going to go a little happy with it. It's songs, <laughs> yeah, I know, with dance moves that you oh, all know. Wonderful. It's not line dancing. It's not It's not uh, creepy. But these are songs that you hear and you're like, oh, okay, I know there's a dance that goes with this. Maybe. I don't know. You, Oh, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So number five is Conga. Gloria Estefan. I didn't realize it was a song that went along. There, with, oh. there is a whole I know what a conga song. line is, but... Yeah, this song gets stuck in your head in the worst way possible. Hmm. Like, at, all the time. Make note to avoid that. Okay. Yeah. Make note yeah. to listen to that <laughs> during the break. So, number four, Gangnam Style. Oh, man. I know. Yeah, I was, I'm that familiar was, with that what one. What was that? I was, uh, no, three years ago? Four years ago? It's yeah, not, not too long. Good. Six, seven years ago? Everybody yeah. was doing that. I could see somebody do it from you know? start to finish, and it's, it's just as silly as the video. Yeah. So number three is actually one of my personal favorites because it's a good dance. Is the time warp from Rocky Horror oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Picture yeah. Show? That's really good. I'm sorry. Yeah. Although I don't know if I could identify the dance moves, but I, do I know will that show I'm you. Kind of a little bit familiar with it. I am shamefully familiar with it. Yeah. Uh, Just gonna level with you. Yeah, shamefully. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can have Rocky Horror Picture Show without a little shame. Yeah. <laughs> so number two is the twist, Chubby Chaka. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Everybody yep. likes that. Yeah, when sure. you hear it, and you're everyone twisting. knows that because it's, you just twist. I mean, that's it, right? Mm. <laughs> oh, this is skill. This is technique. Yeah. <laughs> and Jess, if everyone didn't feel like time was passing quick enough, Gangnam Style was 2012. Ugh. So that's okay. right. Seven, yeah. years. Seven years ago. Wow. All right. So really that's pretty quick. A lot ago. long ago than wow. I thought. That makes me feel it real good about recent, myself. But <laughs> that's I'm good. so old. I mean, when you get older, that is recent. <laughs> you know? I'm so old. But number one. Is everybody's favorite oh, no. dancer? You hush your face. It goes along with a song. It is Thriller oh, by Michael. Okay. Yeah, Michael oh, Jackson. It wasn't the Macarena. <laughs> I'm not going to put the Macarena oh, on here. Well, I appreciate Thriller that. is the dance. Little Jess used to do it. It's horribly embarrassing. I and was I still scared love of it. that music video as a kid. Well, Me too. I hid underneath like the couch when it would come on. I'd hear do 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 do. I'd be like, oh, I'm out of there. I'd be <laughs> in the video, room. This video of it. Staring at it. That video is. A classic. I mean, you watch it, it's a movie. Yeah, it really is. No, like, I mean, it's like 10 minutes on, long. Yeah. And yeah, it's, like, it's, it's like a short film. Video music. Yeah. That was beautiful. Yeah. I Especially had for the, the time. jacket. Yeah. I had the jacket. Didn't have the glove. Didn't earn the I glove I thought you yet. were going to go with like stuff like, like I said, the Dougie. I'm not oh, doing the Dougie. Dougie. The burning The lean. soldier boy. <laughs> I'm not doing that. The stanky that. leg. <laughs> I don't know what that is. The dab. <laughs> not doing that. The whip is the dab a dance name? move? That's a dance? I, I know still that. don't the know those. I work, in a, I work with middle school kids, so I know I the whip. No, go ahead. Unfortunately. <laughs> not doing it. For anybody watching stanky on video, leg. we can have Just Damari do it with a viewer request. Uh, please don't. I'd have to YouTube it to how to do it. I don't, yeah. You're probably better at them than I am. You never got into a YouTube hole and seen some of the, nope. the <laughs> dance videos. And Kitty the, videos. The new 100%. ones that are out. Yeah, no. I, outside I of a moving vehicle. They watch dance They movies, do all those. Dance videos. Yeah. Oh, that's you nice. You know, outside of them. <laughs> nope. You know, Go ahead. It's on YouTube. My one On my bucket list is the Carlton. After you're done oh, watching the this. That's a classic. I can't do it. On YouTube. I can't do it either. But thrill it. That's legit. Yeah. No, that is. I, I just couldn't watch it as a kid. Can you watch it now? Me. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. At least we're honest. Solid list. Solid yeah. list. Album one. <laughs> I right. like those. No, definitely. You know, All right. as far as so back to the cigar <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, really enjoying it still. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of a caramel. Like that sweetness has turned mm-hmm. to a bit of a caramel with the the. Um, Man, you guys spice. are good. <laughs> no, because good. no, really. <laughs> so in my tasting note in the very beginning, uh, when I. Started making the blender, there was some sugar cane uh, mm-hmm. flavor. Mm-hmm. And why I'm saying you're good with caramel? Because you, the sugar cane got that little burn taste mm-hmm. on the sugary taste. Yeah. Right? Which is like. A, Which is what caramel is, really. Yeah, yeah. caramel mm-hmm. yep. or uh, sugar cane. Because I always say when we talk about flavors, it's, uh, it's man, it could be something very funny, it could be something very scientific. Mm-hmm. Because when you say sweetness, Okay, yeah. how many kinds of sweetness? <laughs> yeah, that's have? a lot. Yeah. So, when that's you my go to deep, deep. sweetness, yeah. Yeah. you pick up a little sweetness. I mean, I, that, <laughs> easy, that is easy. my go to. Well, no, no, right? no, no, guys, the go to with Nicaraguan cigars, uh, oh, spice. it's like a full. Very well. Spice. <laughs> it's a full body it's of spicy. Spice. <laughs> yeah, spice and some sweetness. Oh, wow. Really, really yeah. nice tobacco here. flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can't, can't identify it. Let's take a break and we'll come back and we'll continue smoking the. Uh, Liga Maestro. Ooh. 
What's up, Cigar World? This is Mike, a.k.a. Tuise. This is Fernando, a.k.a. Ski. And we are the creators of the newly launched brand from Davidoff of Geneva, Back-to-Back Cigars. What does back-to-back mean? It's the art of repetition. It stems from the graffiti era, a term that translates to continually painting your name back-to-back. The back-to-back is offered in two distinct blends, the medium body Connecticut and the medium to full body Nicaraguan blend. Each blend offers three badass formats, a 5x50 Robusto, a 6x60 Gordo, and a larger than life 7x70, all ranging in price from six to nine bucks. We are bringing you some true value. Let us break down the blends for you guys. The back-to-back Connecticut features a strikingly beautiful Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper leaf, a San Andreas Mexican binder that encases the delicious Dominican long leaf tobaccos. Now the back-to-back Nicaragua steps it up in terms of flavor and intensity as a true Nicaraguan puro. Wrapper, binder, filler, all Nicaraguan tobacco. It's a must-try cigar for all Nicaraguan tobacco lovers. Now the Cigar Authority rated it 92 points, and I think they know what they're talking about. Try them today. Back to back cigars. Only Great Leaf makes great cigars. Aganorsa Leaf stands out because of the distinctive mouthwatering flavors of the Corojo 99 and the Criollo 98 seeds cultivated by Cuban agronomists on the best lands in Jalapa and Esteli, Nicaragua. When you smoke one of the JFR, JFR Lunatic, Guardian of the Farm or Casa Fernandez cigars, you will experience the unique taste and aroma that makes Aganor Salif different than any other tobacco in the world. Smoke one today and enjoy the signature flavor of Aganor Salif. Looking for a mild cigar? Don Rafael is just that. Solidly constructed, and it offers up a mellow experience that holds a ton of universal appeal. This is just one of the reasons for Don Rafael's enormous success. Looking to get your friend into smoking cigars? The Don Rafael cigar is absolutely the right choice. The brand originally set out to outdo the competition, but for the price, there is no competition. You can't beat Don Rafael, it outsells them all. Don Rafael can be enjoyed any time of the day, all day, and cigar after cigar. The Don Rafael has a smooth, mellow aroma that will not linger. Draped in a seamless golden brown Connecticut wrapper, Dominican long fillers, and a Dominican binder complete the blend. Expect earthy notes with some hints of cedar throughout. And as far as quality everyday blends go, for a mild cigar smoker, it doesn't get more satisfying than this. Remember this, Don. Don Rafael. Stepping into the aging room has a new meaning at Aging Room Cigars, as Rafael Nodal has traveled to Spain, where the idea for Aging Room Solera was born. The Solera method of aging has been used for centuries in the making of wine, sherry, brandy, and rum. The method mixes different vintages, allowing them to age together. For Aging Room Solera, Rafael takes several tobacco vintages and puts them in bales, where they age together for another 12 to 18 months. This allows the tobaccos to marry for a longer period of time. At the end of the aging process, Aging Room Solera becomes a balanced and complex cigar with a fantastic price point. Aging Room Solera, it will have you calling for an encore. Bohemian is the original Brazilian big ring gauge cigar with the unfinished foot, curly tailed head and value, value, value. There is a Brazilian reasons to buy and smoke Bohemian, and here are just a few. Created in the Cuban tradition, this lush, dark Brazilian Maduro leaf surrounds a five-year-old Sumatra binder with Dominican and Nicaraguan well-aged long filler leaves. So, what should you expect from a Bohemian? A departure from the conventional. A flavorful journey into a sweet, nutty, almost caramel finish. Bohemian, the original, unconventional cigar. Take the journey. Stay tuned for more of the Ash Holes. Yay! On the United Podcast Network. When was the last time you experienced something for the first time? Curiosity drives discovery. Discover exceptional tobaccos aged to perfection with Balmoral Inejo XO. Born from passionate curiosity, Balmoral invites you to discover the optimal balance of sophisticated complexity and smoothness. 
Each meticulously crafted, extensively aged Añejo XO cigar blend is the result of a relentlessly global search for the top 5% of select premium tobaccos available, including our exclusive signature Brazilian Mata Norte. Crowned with a sun-grown Brazilian Arapiaca wrapper, Balmoral Añejo XO embraces your palate with complex notes of cedar, cacao, and peppery spices that finish with a smooth, underlying natural sweetness. We invite you to discover and experience Balmoral Añejo XO today. And we're back live in this Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio. We're smoking the Liga Maestro by Mombacho Cigars with Claudio Scroi. Yes. Uh, who is the master blender. Yes. Uh, yes, I am. Still enjoying it. <laughs> You're still the master blender. <laughs> still, yes. In case people forget. <laughs> you launched the brand, or you guys launched the brand over in Italy. Is that correct? Liga Maestro was born uh, early 2013 uh, only for the European market. So you mm. do a lot of European business? Y we are in 12 countries now. Yeah. And almost 45% of our production is going to Europe right now. Hmm. Well, yeah, okay. Europe is very uh, a very good market for us as a one country. Do you go to Inter to back? I'm just coming back from Switzerland. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. I was in, a, in April, I was in Germany and the uh, Netherlands. And now and you're going to uh, be going last to IPCPR week. coming up too? Well, you're just going to be non-stop? Non uh, feel and like then, the heat. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then uh, we are going to have the booth uh, in, uh, in Dortmund. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful That's trade show in Dortmund. Man. And we got you on a random day. You just happened to walk in. This was totally unplanned. <laughs> yeah, I'm on, I'm on the road with, awesome. our, with our partner, Joe. And he yeah. said, uh, let's, I, I had let's mentioned to joke in around downstairs. I'm like, you know, you should come up. I mean, we're really not doing anything. And then too we grabbed him and threw him in a chair. Uh, and yeah, he's like, Are you serious? Like, I'm going to be on it. I'm like, Yeah. You yeah. Know yeah no problem. But you, you, come on, you know. Th thank you for having me. The cigar we is great. We want to have you. The cigar yeah. is excellent. And yeah. you know what I feel about this one, too, is like, I'd like to see it aged. Like, I'd like to buy a box of these and put them away and see how they go over time i hmm. this has some yeah. potential for me like you I know there think. is a, a couple of different things about aging when you make a cigar and the tobaccos are very well fermented and aged then the cigar with a little rest uh, it's okay you go for mm -hmm. you get all the flavor the aromas uh, as mombacho we age our cigars a minimum of six months mm -hmm. because i strongly believe that the 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 harmony between the different tobaccos, the symbiosis mm -hmm. during the aging is after the six months. And you stamp the back of the band. Yes, yes. all our bands. I don't know if you want to hook yeah. up this camera over there, but he stamps the back of the band with the month and the day that it was rolled. Yeah. So yeah. that you can yeah. you can see on, on these, <laughs> when, when you peel it off, Yeah. you see the month and the day. Am I even getting anything? <laughs> well, not too much. Most people are listening. So. Yeah, yeah. What does it say? It says June 2018. Okay. So this is over like a year old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This cigar, it, this cigar was think. rolled uh, in June uh, 2018. Okay. You could and tell. then the other thing about aging, uh, if you are using tobacco so that they are a little bit younger, you should age the cigar longer mm -hmm. than normal mm -hmm. because uh, it's all about the tobaccos getting together. Yeah. Because uh, when I tried the fir first of the blend, uh, like five minutes after I rolled, I pick things uh, one by one, one by one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you purposely use young tobacco at times? No, it depends. No, we have yeah. a one project that is called the Cosecha, mm -hmm. and Cosecha it's a truly a vintage like a wine. Oh, nice! Mm -hmm. So uh, we uh, two years ago we released the Cosecha uh, 2012. So I'll because of all the tobaccos were the crop of 2012, all of them are from Nicaragua and aged the cigar made for four and a half years. Mm -hmm. Okay, last year we released the Cosecha 13. And uh, next week, uh, we are going to ship in the United States uh, the Cosecha 14. So all the tobaccos are from uh, 2014, all of them are from Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. That's why I call it true vintage. In wine, you put uh, the vintage, mm -hmm. the yeah, year. Sure. Why? Because all the grapes are from yep. that year, right? right? Today, all the limited edition, reserve, and that stuff, we blend tobaccos from different years. Different yeah, you're more or less trying to get it. And different countries, for sure. yeah. right? But we did, uh, like wine, the grapes... Uh, for us, tobacco so from the same country, same year, and uh, aging it for four years. That's like a true one-off project then, too, because it's not like you're going to say, oh, hey, we found more of that tobacco that just happened to be aging. You mm -hmm. know, 2012, once those are done, once those five, are sold, 5,000 cigars. Done. 2013, a little bit more. We are around uh, uh, 7,000 cigars so for 14. For sure. Now, for 2015, that is already aging, I made maybe not even uh, 3,000 cigars so 
3,500 because of the project, because I want to show the crop of that year. Mm. I don't want to make it just a new limited edition, right? I get it. Yeah. So uh, it's a truly the vintage of Nicaragua in that year. I completely respect that because this a, the, the, the trend, it seems, out there is limited artifi limited artificially edition. limited editions in the tobacco yeah. was... You know, it was carried from a Sherpa down the side of a mountain. <laughs> no, I, I have a Stani, no, you know, like, uh, uh, very well a limited edition. Limited edition, it's a limited run made in that year, so they stamp that year. For example, limited edition 2017. Okay, sure. But for us, uh, we call cosecha, which is crop. So the mm -hmm. crop of 14, uh, we made only those cigars, so we are not going to make uh, more than that. And it when it's it gone, it's gone. Yeah. It's the crop. Uh, yeah, it's the vintage. Yeah, it's the vintage. I like that. That's it. cool. I like that. Yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's do Old Fart Freddy. I'm going to apologize ahead of time because I don't know what he's going to say. Oh, so. come on. <laughs> you heard our break in between. This yeah. guy is not going to be scared Listen. about Old Fart Freddy. Uh, sorry, my English is not very good. Yeah. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand the question. Yeah, I would say. Well, well, I'll yourself. tell you this. It's time to get delighted with Old Fart right. Freddy. Brought to you by Cuban Delight Cigars. This is Old Fat Freddy, and if you know me, you know I was delighted with the good old days when life was simpler and cheaper. Today, let's talk about the movies. Do you see what they're charging to go to the movies? It's outrageous, and God forbid you bring someone with you and you have to pick up the tab, and they want popcorn and a drink? Forget about it. I make my own popcorn, and not that microwave stuff. I put some lard in the pan, put kernels in, and in a minute, I get the best damn popcorn around. And then I turn on the TV, watch some old movie that's free, and better than the crap that's playing down the street. After that, I light up a cigar, and I'm in heaven. I'm cheap, so I love Cuban Delight Cigars, a perfectly good everyday cigar, handmade in the Dominican Republic, from the pieces left over from the high-end cigars. For a quick buck, I can enjoy a Cuban Delight. Cuban Delight Cigars. Right. I feel like we Tame. got off easy. Yeah. No double entendres. Like, no, uh, yep. I had to be careful after that ladies episode. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was I hear crazy. the setups for these and I think it's gonna go one way and yeah. then it goes another way. There's so. been some history where we're like, oh, He's what's he gonna do? It's gonna happen one <laughs> yeah. one of these times when we're gonna be lulled into a false sense of security. <laughs> There's gotta be them. a touch of fear. Yeah. <laughs> I love I love the accent of the guy. Oh, yeah. Me too. Where is that? That's authentic. Freddy. But he's over in from from Nashua. Here. He's, yeah. Yeah, he's from around here. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It's Freddy. Oh, it's just, yeah. Yeah. Old he he is who he is. But Old that's who he is. is. Yeah. He would rather make it at home and watch a movie than go out to the movies, which I would too. You know, Netflix, you know, just watch it, you know, and not have to worry about, you know, people, <laughs> money, <laughs> like, you know, sticky floor in front of you. It's like soda spilled You can use by your kids. own sticky floor at home. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I mean, get everything on your own. Comfortable couch and so sorry, I didn't understand. He makes a popcorn with what? Lard. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Tastes like wow. bacon. If you ask him and you pay him for it, he might make it some. <laughs> with lard. It's like old, old school. He is like yeah. very old school. That like, gotta be awesome. Yeah, like English muffin marmalade type of guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Old school. Freddie's the man. He's my boss over there in Nashville. He's a good guy. Awesome. So we're gonna get a. Uh, we doing rating on this yeah, one? Yeah, let's do here? a rating. Who wants to start? Oh we boy, start I think time. yeah. What are we gonna say? Should I get say? scared, uh, Ward, or uh? always be slightly afraid? I don't know. Oh, okay, man. okay. It's good for you. Get you alive. I can start. I, I try to defend myself. <coughs> I go ninety three. Huh? Whoa! I go ninety three. Really? Solid ninety three. <laughs> yeah. So far, so good. I'd like to see how it finishes up, but I, I have no awesome. complaints. I mean, for a thin ring gauge to stay lit, as you know, I talk a lot. We were talking a lot. I was barely smoking the thing, and it was fully lit the whole time. Construction's perfect. Good flavor. 93. Mm. Awesome. I'm jumping a solid 94. Okay. I fully Whoa. appreciate how, how the wrapper looks. It's got that beautiful matte shine. The, the bands are gorgeous. And I think the first thing you're doing when you look at a cigar is actually looking at it, taking an eyeball at it. Mine's standing up to lipstick, so I mean, <laughs> seriously. And the the taste for me is interesting because, like I said, it hits the spice notes in the front, smooth coffee down the back. It's magic for me. Awesome. Right. I'm actually going 93 as well. That was before you even said it. That's where I was going. Um, you know, as far as flavor profile, uh, you know, sweetness and spice, that's right in my wheelhouse. Uh, performance is very perfect. The draw is perfect. So, yeah, 93 for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, so they leave me to be the ash hole of this whole. Oh, <laughs> That's why we I have you here. I knew that something was That's coming. Right. I knew that. <laughs> yeah. I, I am the hard grader on mm. the show. I'm going a solid 90 on this. Okay. Uh, it's not 
<clears throat> exactly in my wheelhouse. I'm a, usually a, a stronger yeah. Yeah. cigar smoker. Yeah. But what I like about this is it has great flavor. Mm -hmm. There's good complexity. And the retrohale in particular. It's nice. It's real picking nice. up a mm. lot of subtle flavor on the retrohale. Beautiful. So, hey, 90 still an A. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a super happy about this. Guys. The retrohale is amazing. I can't imagine Jonathan saying that he can get those flavors that I'm getting on the retrohale, no. that you're getting on the retrohale <laughs> well, on his palate. Like. You know, I'm getting some uh, woodiness mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. retro, you know. Yep. And not quite a, a cedar, but Oaky. more like Oaky. Yeah, yeah. a fresh cut oak. Mm. Fresh cut oak. Yeah. Well, it helps that the size is this. I mean, this is the perfect yeah. size for us. We we dig on the forty six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I I want to say one particular thing about our cigars. Uh, we talk a lot about Nicaraguan cigars. Mm -hmm. You know, as a country, we are growing a lot, uh, and I think we are already the first exporter of uh, uh, premium cigars to the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, but I always say, if you want to get the true Nicaraguan experience, smoke a pool. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have uh, three lines that are poor mm -hmm. because uh, we can blend uh, wrappers from Ecuador, uh, fillers from everywhere. But if you want to truly have a 100% Nicara Nicaraguan experience, a smoke a poor. And sure. then uh, forget uh, the common idea. Nicaraguan cigars are strong and spicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. as I said, uh, we have uh, such a very diverse variety yeah. of different things, uh, tobaccos and soils. Uh, we can have uh, a Nicaraguan cigar that is pretty sweet mm -hmm. or something that is spicy but not too much, that is mm -hmm. balanced. Uh, I mean, it really depends on the master I mean, it's, it's well. what puts it above, I mean, Cuban <clears throat> by a mile because mm. it's like <laughs> Cuban cigars <laughs> have, you know, they're pretty much <laughs> the same. Thing. Of, I got, There's not a lot of I got cough there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but Nicaraguan is, is, you know, I would take a Nicaraguan over a Cuban cigar any day. Because well, you don't get a lot variety. of complexity in a Cuban cigar. If you exactly, like that yeah. flavor, it's yeah. very good you, flavor. you may enjoy the cigar, but yeah, very good it's flavor. pretty yeah. much one note. And that's yeah. all you're getting <laughs> okay. out of it. Well, I'm going to dance it back just a hot second. You started with Davidoff, Claudio. Is that right? Yes. Under I worked uh, I worked uh, nine years, uh, total of nine years with Davidoff. Mm -hmm. I started in Dominican Republic uh, yeah, with Enki Kellner. Mm -hmm. I stayed there for uh, two and a half years. Then I moved uh, to Geneva, Switzerland, where I worked uh, two and a half years at the uh, Davidoff shop of Geneva, the shop that opened Zeno Davidoff. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, my last three and a half years of Davidoff, uh, I spent them in Italy, and I was a brand manager for the entire portfolio of the Davidoff group. That's yeah. a I think wild this has, resume you got put together, yeah. man. I mean, that's I, a master blender with style. I, uh, I always say I'm very, very lucky because I had the, one of the best school uh, now I, I say it's cool. <laughs> yeah. uh, available. It's a very long You know, Henke, Henke is a legend, uh, not because of his character, but because uh, it's an, it, the knowledge that he has uh, mm. is uh, unique in the world. And being exposed to that, uh, uh, plus uh, my curiosity, plus uh, the, the passion that I discovered, that was... Uh, the, the right mix for my career. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. Thank I you. think you Thank can you. definitely pick up the level of refinement mm -hmm. in this cigar, that Davidoff, you know, level of refinement. Oh, you, whoa, I mean, whoa. no, you're <laughs> aggressive there. You're, you're oh. here. I'm not just trying to <laughs> gas you up, but you yeah. can definitely get the complexity, like he was saying in the retro hail. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's layers of flavor there yeah. too, and it's not just one note. Yeah. You pick yeah. up one thing, you blow it a little bit, there's a little bit more. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it's very that. complex. Mm -hmm. and, and so far, it's been that way, you know, and I'm almost halfway done. Yeah. And it's been that way the whole way, so I wouldn't expect it not to be the way, rest of the way. It's yeah, excellent. Had, like cigar. three or four transitions. Seriously, so far. So, which, yeah, it's, it's excellent. Yeah. Man, that's that's uh, the transition of what you're saying. Uh, it's uh, something that I'm really looking for, mm. what we call the evolution. Mm -hmm. okay? Is that like leaf placement? Because it, it could be. Uh, don't, yeah, don't, I know it's I, tough. I don't on, know. Man. Like, I don't want to get too come technical. On. But is that like how you do that? Because you know, we have a lot of secrets. Uh, <laughs> He's not going to tell you tomorrow. Uh, no, if know, uh, if someone is telling you he has a secret, there is something wrong. For sure. There. Yeah. For sure. Just so it could be the position. Man. It could be how you blend. It could be a lot of different the aging. But mm -hmm. I really like that evolution. Mm -hmm. I call it. Yeah. Like uh, the first third or the second. Yep. Because for me, our cigars they start a little bit high, like a little bit spicy, mm -hmm. and it. Heating you like a oh boy, what's this? <laughs> and then he goes Wakes down, you up. <laughs> and then he smooths down, very elegant, the sweetness, and develops a lot the flavor. Yeah. And then he goes up again at the end, saying, "Okay, I gave you whatever I had to to give. Now, see you soon." There's some cigars that are blended to be consistent the whole way through. That's that's fine, but I like a cigar that's complex because mm -hmm. even. Even on the best flavor, I'm only trying to smoke that for like maybe, mm -hmm. you know, 15, 20 minutes, really. 
But a cigar that has that little flavor transition keeps you guessing, like, what the next buff is going to taste like. You know, yeah. it keeps you, know, you interested. It keeps you yeah. engaged. Yes. And for me, it's very important to have your attention on the cigar, mm. oh, right? Sure. Because if it's flat for an hour and a half or from the beginning toward the end, after 20 minutes, half hour, you would be like, okay, what else? Yeah. And right? then you're like, oh, some guys like that, else, though. Right? I, I respect like, that. I, yeah, I've got no problem with I the respect people that, that, that like that. Yes. Some people but are boring. Me. Yeah. All right. Well, that's our time. Claudio, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Um, thank you've been you. listening to The Assholes, broadcasting live from the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio. You can download this episode or any past episode at unitedpodcastnetwork.tv. Check it out. Share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. See you next week. I guess. Thanks for coming by, man. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.